Good morning guys, welcome to day one of Clutch Kickers. This is going to be the most insanely jam-packed event probably ever hosted here. There is over, well I guess there's not over 80 drivers, it's caps at 80 drivers. There's 80 drivers! And uh, I heard yesterday's practice, they do like an early practice that uh, we usually don't go to, um, was a war zone. Everyone's breaking cars, running, switching parts. A lot of new drivers, some new pro cars. I think it's gonna be a good one. Look at uh, the whole green lineup. I'm a blue boy today though with my E36. These pits are packed. Unfortunately, Colette had terrible luck. Showed up for practice with Trevor's car and a car that was perfect for all of Drift Week. Pulls off the trailer, clutch pedal goes to the floor and sure enough, it's a slave. And if you're not familiar with Corvettes, that means you basically need to drop a whole entire drivetrain just to change it. So that sucks, but she's got a real cool backup that you guys will probably end up either seeing in qualifying or later in this video. A little behind the scenes shot that I feel like you guys don't get to see too often in videos. The drop off on turn one is actually pretty intense. That's why you'll see cars three wheeling, going airborne, and a lot of crazy stuff happening here. It is no fun to drop a wheel there. my first practice session. Gonna go get acclimated to the car in the track again. Go have some fun. I love driving the E36. It's a hot one, but it's definitely better weather than it's been in the past year at Clutch Kickers. Uh, Colette's getting the hang of the uh, good old Fox. A couple little weird things are working out. Just been helping kind of spotting for her. But my practice session's about to be up, so I'm gonna get locked and loaded in the E36 and go take her for a rip. Wow. same exact issue last clutch kickers but we didn't have our gears so I borrowed someone else's and at the end we had to put the other wrong gear back in the car to drive it into the trailer forgot that that happened so we rolled up thing in the car had the right gear in it it didn't 
But that's what practice is for us. So we're making a change. We can go back out, and the car should feel and do what it needs to do. got an 80 um, definitely made a few small minor mistakes I was kind of second-guessing myself going into the zones I like wasn't snapping as hard as I was honestly I'm stupid I was driving the Mustang bunch with Colette trying to uh, dial it in for her and I think I got used to how that thing transitioned and I was just playing a little too cautious with E36 but it's honestly a good thing because I would rather put points on the board 80 is a decent score I'll probably be in the top 10% uh, then to try to go balls to the wall for my first run and then mess up and get a zero and then have all that pressure on me for the second So this is my favorite scenario because now I get one more qualifying run And there's no risk because I already have points on the board so I can go have fun and try to get a hundred point run um, I don't know if it's possible, but it'll be pretty freaking sick qualifying run I gotta tighten it up a little bit push a little bit harder to outside zone one into the touch and go other than that just be a little bit more committed I think we can easily take home the number one qualifying spot I want that thousand bucks and I want those bragging rights let's do it
Not my best run I've ever done here. I don't know what it is, but it seems like this event, everyone's struggling with Outer Zone 1. Um, they did add some cones on the inside, but I don't feel like I never drove there, but maybe it's like a psychological thing. Uh, I've never struggled getting that. It's usually one of my strong points by runs, but I, just, I did everything pretty much how I was supposed to. I hesitated a little bit coming into Outer Zone 2, um, but I'm still happy with it. I think we're sitting like third in terms of qualifying points. We didn't win the money, but I don't know, I'll probably get first place on the other day. We're sitting really good, so we'll pretty much be leading every single battle until the top three or four tomorrow, so that's good. Looks like we had an easy first couple battles and then it's going to start getting tough as soon as like the top 16. So, so I to go out there and get some uh, tandem practice in.
times, but um, I tried to take it easy. The person I was going against, I knew wouldn't be uh, a super insanely tough battle, and I tend to take myself out by trying to do like the craziest lead, so I just kept it conservative, kept it on track, but still tried to fill my zones. Almost went a little too spicy on my follow, but maintained my composure, had some fun, and now we're moving on to the next. Slash bad news, uh, the homie Trenton from y -Plate had an engine failure yesterday. Uh, he got some guys to stay overnight. They got him a 2J short block driven up six hours. They got it in right before his battle and he took out Ben, who is currently sitting second in the championship. So, sucks for Ben, he's a homie and he's been driving super well all season in a super simple Miata. Um, stoked for Trenton on the other hand. But the best part is, for me, uh, it takes out Ben's chance. Uh, I don't wanna say his chance because I think he's still technically could be ahead of me, but the possibility of me now getting second for the points championship is very high because he got taken out early. So I'm about to go up against uh, homie local dude Willie in a Turbo RX-7. We drove a little bit in practice, so I'm doing pretty good, but I'm just gonna go out and hit the marks. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we got the helmet cam set up. We're going against Willie, gonna do a good lead, gonna do a good chase. Oh, you're having a good time. I know it's been a minute since I've had the helmet cam on. Uh, the reason why I don't use it in the FD car and some of the cars I drive is because with halo seats, the actual like camera on the helmet will hit the side of the halo seats. And then I can't turn my head and it makes it very difficult to do anything. So we're good in this car. I think we're about to warm up the tires and go for a drive. <laughs>
like we secured the bag, brothers. I did what I needed to do. zone so I know it's his fault he hit my right front he did take the Nate and ball for the contact yeah. if you want your 15 minutes to look at it you can um can I just like toe plate it just to be sure it'll you take 15 minutes, bro. I, I mean I can do it quick if they're ready to go it'll take me two seconds so we can keep the show going okay You're not hey y'all that's hey that sucks man I wanted a fair and square battle yeah, I was I was screwed up my lead too. I didn't fill out his own one at all. I was trying to catch you, and I think I just like. Oh, oh, yeah. I apologize. No, it's all good, bro. Part of the game. All right, hey, I'm just gonna try to run a real deep punch. Let's have some fun. Hell yeah.
sucks because I really want to get some good tandem in because it'd be really good practice, but it's just killing me. <sighs> Man, Nate's car is so cool. I want an NA motor like him. That's what I'm thinking the whole time I'm battling. Alright, now we're going to against a guy by the name of Keone Rodriguez. He's got some pretty good style. His car is fast. as well. No. Did he hit you? Yeah, Andy hit the wall. Did he hit the wall? I'm so confused as to what's going on. I was just told it's a double zero because he's straightened and then I hit the wall so I don't even know what that means where it's what I'm supposed to do my chase. But I guess I'll just do the best I can. inevitably one more be one more time and then we'll have to go again this car's fast that's for sure i'm just still so confused like i don't know if it's way differently since he technically zeroed okay so now we have one more time Good lead. Alright. 
I'd give it a two and a half. Just about what I did on that last run. Conservative, not too reckless, but still active chase. Just gotta make sure I give him space. He tends to do like a pretty aggressive flick. that clutch kickers. I had no idea, I just found out that car makes a thousand wheel and gapped Hanadale on the drag strip. And his car is probably the other fastest car that I went against. Unfortunately, it looks like your boy Taylor just messed up, so I was hoping for a battle against Taylor, but it looks like I'm going against the other homie, Randy, who's been killing it. Driving like an absolute madman in his purple S14. I love that car, I love that dude. Uh, yeah, no more time for vlog, need to drink water, hug girlfriend and go drive. Also, this is going to kind of be confusing, but the way that the points are shaping up for the end of the season, there's a pretty big prize for first, second, and third. Uh, the way it looks right now, it looks like we're guaranteed a slot for third since we entered the final four. As long as I can get higher points than Dirk, which means I either need to uh, win this battle and he loses his, or in a 3-4 battle beat him, then we'll be secured for second for the championship, which would be amazing. I'm stoked. I'm having a blast. Ready to go? Let's go. Now win. You going to drive for me? <laughs> yeah, I'll come in.
right, final battle. Going up against Hamadale. The number one driver here at Clutch Kicker is points leading. Might have had a chance of taking the championship from him had I not screwed up so badly at the last round and got knocked out so early. But nonetheless, we're guaranteed a second spot in the championship, which means we're taking home, I think, five grand. And uh, a minimum of five grand if I get second, but we're taking home first, which means we are taking home 15 Gs tonight, which will be earth shatteringly more than I've ever won in a drift competition ever. I think the most we ever won was it might have been three grand the Team Tandem contest with Ginge and Taylor. Alright, let's do this. The first go fast. Do the zone. Do the thing. Drive good. Okay. Have fun. Then we win. Then we drink. Then we sleep. Yeah, I've done this battle before. I know exactly what I gotta do. Gotta do the thing. Oh, he's gonna roll and start. He knows I'm a boogie. He knows I'm a boogie. Beep, beep, beep. All right, time to wiggle. We're gonna wiggle all over this racetrack. Feel me? Gonna skirt around. Gonna rip around here like a lawn dart. Freaking. Mall cops never knew what hit them when I zipped my E36 through the aisle. did my best.
was a rocket ship. Mine was like a like a Tesla Model S halfway charged. And you know, uh, if I had the full charge, you know, maybe I could have pulled. You know, maybe if I jumped the light a little bit more, I would have been there. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, the more you drink, the less you think, and the less you think, the better you feel. So have your drink at every meal. You feel me? A whole glass of milk a day, get your doctor away. Even though you got all these California trying to force you to eat oat milk and drink almond milk and all these milks that don't come from the urethra of a cow, they still pushing it on you like it's it's gonna make you feel better when you're eating stuff that comes out of the dirt. And I don't know how I feel about that. I really think that we belong where nature raised us on the farm, drinking the milk. And, you know, I'm pumped. Cause you know, I, I did the thing, but I wish I did the thing better. And then I wish I won. But next year, we're gonna come back here with 2,000 horsepower, uh, 355 tire, four bottles of NOS, and eight spoon engines uh, horizontally mounted that we got from Hector a few years back that we've been stashing, saving up for race wars. Uh, I mean, I know that he won, so I don't even, I don't even know why we're sitting here. Unless, unless lead for lead, his lead sucked. We'll see, I'm gonna talk to Ginge. Hey Ginge, he won, right? He won, right? Or did his lead suck? I'm sorry. I mean, that's what I thought too. I, I got gapped and then I played catch up and I was just all over the place. Yeah, I must have really taken into account of lead for lead, just like very small things. I didn't notice anything major on him. Yeah, that's kind of how I felt. I mean, I did the best lead run that I can. I just way, way, just, I think this happened to me last time. I just under predict how fast his car is. I like, yeah, I started before the light went and he still rolled my ass. Yeah, we saw that, and uh, that might have been the difference. It might not have been, but it was a great show either way. Cool. Well, thank you for the help. I appreciate it, Ginge. Um, you killed it. Couldn't do it without you, brother. Freaking donuts for breakfast, donuts for lunch, donuts for dinner. I'm a big donut boy. I like them soggy. I like them firm. I like them old. I like them new. I like them everything. I like them inside. You know what I want to do? I want to eat that donut till the frosting melts off. You see me? I'm just chilling with so much smoke that I'm coughing up a storm you see me I would warn you that my car is fast but I just got my ass gapped so you see me and they'll all clap but in reality I got second because I'm not the best but I suppose I'm still better than 98% of the rest uh, if this was school I would have passed the test but not with flying colors when you see me come through I'm pretty good with others but I could be better you know when I was growing up I was always a bedwetter and I knew that I needed to get over that and to overcome my adversity so I'm coming up and I'm chilling with so much rhymes in the back of my head that I just keep on rhyming till the day that I'm dead and I just want to stack some ham and cheese on some bread so I can eat it up because I'm always hungry looking for food at the compound for lunch and sometimes it's like a early brunch a late dinner dinner whatever you want to call it uh, I think he's the winner I don't know why they're making us wait um, Maybe it's because it's fate for us to just sit here till we both overheat internally and pass out. No doubt that wouldn't be good for us, but I still think that it may be something that occurs, but you know, it's not a curse and it's not a gift and it's not me with another mischief. You know, I didn't mess up mechanically. I didn't fail. Uh, it didn't rain. It didn't hail. There were no tornadoes. The weather was good. Um, and back to drinking milk, man. Since day one, I've always been in the hood. I got a winner.
Guys, I definitely didn't think I'd be standing here with a second place finish overall, especially with some of the headaches that we've had this season. Um, I'm super, super proud, especially considering this is the first car as a team we've ever built intentionally for a series. To take home second at the end of it is sick. Um, I'm going to let you in on a little secret that we never really talked about because I didn't want people to think it was like a big deal or anything. This car has secretly had the 3-4 from my S15, which I know like some people suspected. Uh, it has a G35 900 on it, so it's not really that big of a turbo. The car makes about 550 wheel. Everyone thinks it makes more. What I'd like to do for next season is to turn the boost up, but we don't have enough fuel pump in the car. We have one in-tank pump and some small fuel lines, so it did amazingly. I don't think there's another car that was really faster than it, but it was very clear in that last battle. Even if I left earlier than Honadale, I still think he would have rolled me because with drift cars, you know if someone has more angle than you and they're still pulling on you, their car is fast as Either way though, uh, for once I had battles, no car issues, and uh, I just got to focus on driving. It's a great way to end the season. The car really doesn't have much damage. A few little paint things here and there. We'll come up with a plan or some more improvements for next season, but I do plan on running the E36. I do plan on running clutch kickers again. Uh, it's been awesome. Johan's pretty much been a one-man show, killing it on the car every time we come out here, and I couldn't do it without him. So. Super appreciative of him, super appreciative of Mike standing out in the sun all these hot clutch kicker days just to get the clips for you guys. He's convulsing. Um, hopefully you had a good time listening to me ramble like an idiot on grid. But I want to thank you guys. I know a lot of you tuned into the clutch kicker series. Um, I really do think this is the best thing going on for drifting right now. It is the most fun I've ever had in competitive drifting. It is the best community. Everyone cares so much about each other. There's very little beef in the pits. Everyone's just helping each other out. There's people with low power cars, high power cars, and everyone's having a good time. And uh, that's what we're about to do. We're about to go to the island, one of the sponsors of Clutch Kickers, to go get, what did they, what does Lil John say? Crunk? Is it crunk? Go get crunk? Turnt? Turnt. We shall get turnt. Good night. <laughs>